Hi y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, then hi y'all. Thank you for coming back. So today's video has been a epic foul <laughs> in, the, in the terms of a teenager. No, it's been terrible, like a complete foul. So today's video, I was going to do Valentine's crafts, i.e. make some nice things to hang up, some little decor, a little wreath, do a few bits in there that you can put up, reuse bits that we've used in previous crafts to do a haul. Problem was, I've got everything out on the table ready to craft, then I realized I hadn't picked up glue sticks, and I need glue sticks for near enough every craft that I'm doing. So I glued together one of the items, but I've had to use the fabric glue. And even though it says fast tack glue, it really isn't that fast, it's still wet and I can't use it. Um, so I'm gonna have to bring that, that video next week and put this one that was from next week today. This is because I don't edit and schedule these videos, so they just get done on the day. Um, so things like this happen to me, <laughs> quite a lot in life actually. But one of the videos I was gonna do next week is as Valentine's coming up, I was gonna make some fabric hearts. Now I make loads of fabric hearts, these are some of the ones that I do. So I like to get some fabric, make some little fabric hearts, you can hang them up little bit of ribbon or you can make them a lot bigger than that and you could sort of like make heart cushions so you can give to people as like a little teddy like a heart teddy thing you could even sew them onto ribbon and have them up as like bunting but today I'm just going to make a smaller version just to show you how I how I done them like I did with the pumpkin um fabric pumpkin tutorial that we done it in October now I've got to inside out this now as you can see, I've cut some already. This is just a tea towel that I got. Calf kits then. <laughs> no, 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 Batman. So this is a tea towel that I got. I got a pack of two for two pound. And I do love a tea towel, but tea towels do tend to get stained in my house. So if I can use it to make something that I'm going to hang in the kitchen, look pretty forever anyway, then I may as well. So you can use any fabric. Now, if you go into a charity shop and pick up something cheap, but you like fabric, it could be a t-shirt, skirt, pajamas, bedding. You have a pillow slip that you don't use anymore. Any tea towels, any fabric you can use. You haven't got to go to a fabric shop and buy some. And yeah, I've got this one. So what I'm gonna start off doing is I'm gonna actually fold this in half the reverse way. Sorry, the reverse way out and leave it like that. And then what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna lay it flat. I'm gonna lay it flat and then just with a pencil, you haven't got to do this if you think that you can cut this out freehand, freehand, freehand without needing um, to have to have scissors well no you can't cut it out without scissors you surely can't do that but I mean if you can do it without having to draw it on first then go ahead and do that but I'm just drawing it on very roughly I don't know if you can even see the outline and then with my scissors which aren't my fabric scissors because I'm really not the best crafter I've lost my fabric scissors I'm going to cut through both halves of the fabric so even though it's folded over so once you'll be left with two pieces of fabric so you'll see what I mean in a minute and I definitely could have done with having some sharper scissors on the go because this little craft I'm going through two layers of fabric <laughs> and cut through that side as well you can hear it's like What I'm going to do, I'm not going to butcher this, but I'm just going to cut roughly so I can remove it from the fabric itself. So I've got two halves and I'm just going to cut them out and then I'm going to cut them nice and neat. Oh, I forgot to say, grab yourself a little hot drink or some snacks to relax. I've got my little Emma Bridgewater Union Jack mug with my mum fuel in there, my Pepsi, but I can't live without. <laughs> I wish I could drink coffee, I really do. I can't stand coffee, I really don't like the taste of it. No matter how many times I try to like it, I just haven't got the taste buds for coffee. It's so random and I see so many people say, oh, do you know what, coffee really helped me out. Like I just have a little break and a coffee. That is so not me, cannot do it. So I've got a heart and what you end up with is two pieces of fabric. Now I'm just gonna trim them at the bottom so they're not actually attached. So we've got two 
pieces of heart fabric in our little cuff kits and material, but we're going to put them together again, reversed again, so how they work up. And what I'm going to do is, now you can glue, glue stick these if you would like, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a needle and thread. Quite a long piece. Thread it through my needle. Oh, it's so quiet in this house without the children, it's so weird. Oh, I've knotted my fucking, there you go piece of fabric through my needle and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stitch the ends together and make a little knot in the bottom so it stays together go a couple of times and then tie the end into a knot so that my thread now isn't going anywhere and then what I'm going to do is up the side the way to do this really quick is to just in and out, just push it in, push it out while keeping the needle in there like a consultina fold. It's the quickest way of doing it. So you end up with like a little consultina fold and then you can pull it through. As you can see, it's just going through like that. It's the quickest way to sew these. You can sit there, have a little cup of tea in the evening and do these that haven't got to take forever. And then I'm going to keep continuing to do that the whole way around the edge. Look, one side is sewn. If you do have a sewing machine, obviously you can sew them on the sewing machine. But I just thought to give the people that like to try a little craft and do something, you could have a tiny little scrap of material and do this with this. You can make these as little gifts for people. You could like hand sew on like letters, like the initial of their name. They're just nice little things to make and I find these get quite addictive as did the pumpkins. They do get quite addictive to make. <laughs> so, let's pull that through. And then, and then we're gonna go back round again, doing that fold. So it goes really, really quickly. And you can go back on yourself to make sure that it's super, super tight. You haven't got to just do it as quick as this. You can do a little, um, you can do it really slowly and do it really closely together. Make sure it stays really tight. But these sort of things, unless you're doing it in a really, really big size as a cushion or a teddy, no one's going to be sort of laying on it or touching it. It's just going to be hanging up on a cupboard. So, and they're done the same way. They're not done it completely tight. They're done fine. And they'll stay together. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go all the way around again, consultina. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave a little hole open, enough to shove my finger into. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull that through and I'm just going to stitch it a little knot into it so that it stays put. Stitch a little knot. I find these sort of things, they look quite nice when they're rustic as well, when they're not made completely perfect. Stitch the cotton off that end. Cut the little cotton off that bit. Now you're gonna keep your need, you're gonna need to keep your needle and thread on the go and just really carefully pull in the little arches down, inside out it through to the hole. <laughs> a bit tricky. If you want, you can leave the hole a little bit larger. And what you end up is something that looks a bit like this. So, a little heart pocket with one side a lot larger. And if everyone remembers, I just use an old cushion filling, stuffing. Just use really little pieces at a time and just stuff these hearts. Stuff in the corners first, it really starts to give it the little, like, the shape of it. And then the other one. And then stuff that bit in there. 
need to stuff the end a tiny bit more. These look really nice when you make them big as well. Look really, really cute. Now what I'm gonna do is with this little open fabric, I'm kind of gonna fold over that piece, fold over that piece, and then put them together. So I'll do that again. So this little edge, I'm gonna fold it in slightly, a little bit like that. I'm gonna fold the other one in as well, and then join them together. And then with my little thread and needle, I'm gonna make a little knot at the front, on the outside, so that the thread stays in like we've done before. Bear in mind, this video is 10 minutes long, and I'm chatting away and trying to think, you can do these a lot quicker, or you can take your time with these. They don't have to be done super quick. Right, so keeping it folded together, just go over. Make sure that doesn't knot up. And then go over again. So sort of like loop the stitch. That's the cotton that needs to be cut, sorry. So just loop the stitch through that way. And then under again. So my face, the face is up when I'm stitching. And then under again. And then you can just knot that. I'm not going to, because this is just like a, a little quick show one just to show you how to do it. And then what I will do is stretch it out a little bit, try and fill up the stuffing. It's a really little version. <laughs> And then you've got to press it out to the edges, make sure it's all full. And you make these little hearts. And then what I do with mine is I just get a little bit of ribbon. Cut a nice little bit of ribbon off. What have I done with that? I think my craft cupboard to do a little lean up. Get a little bit of ribbon, loop it over. Like that, like the little British Heart Foundation ribbons that you get. And I'll just pop a little stitch through the top and it'll hold it together and I'll just hang something like that on my cupboard. It looks really cute. And or you could use a bit of twine. So on this one I've put some twine through this and this is how they come out. This was a tea towel as well. And they just come out really, really sweet. So I just thought that'd be a little quick craft rather than me just not bringing a video and not showing you anything that I'm making. But I will show you that I did cut up one of them Christmas sacks um, that I got and cut it into triangles, bunting triangles. Got a ribbon for a reel of this for a pound in the range and I fabric glued it onto the ribbon. And I'm gonna add bits to this and decorate this. So hopefully it will be dry. It looks dryish, but it's not. Like they could easily peel off once I start to embellish them and make them. So it's a bit kind of like a rustic, wedding -y slash valentine so just so you know i wasn't bobbing you off i have done it but that isn't the fastest it still feels really tacky like they could just peel off so i will bring that craft that'll be at the beginning of next week that'll be completely dry by then and i might even just put a few stitches in to hold it because that fabric glue isn't the best um but if i had my glue gun that would have been simple so if you want to start cutting some nice uh, triangles out of any fabric i prefer the bunting um the hessian, like the burlap, because it's made from a cheap sacking material. Most of you have them left over from Christmas, so it's not going to cost you anything. Then you get some ribbon, you might already have ribbon, and just glue it on, space them out evenly, and then glue them onto the back of that. Make sure the ribbon's neatly, glue it on, and then we're going to get away with making it really, really nice. And I've got a few other crafts coming as well. I'm not going to let on to those yet. Um, but once I've got my glue gun, <laughs> all will be revealed. I went the whole way then without coughing, and now I'm like, <laughs> like Muttley. So take care. Have a fantastic rest of your week. I'm bringing my try on home Friday, and on Monday I will have a full Valentine's craft video prepared for you. But I thought hopefully this would suffice making some little fabric hanging hearts and like I said you can hang me loads of these and make some heart bunting if you like make them a lot larger on a larger scale big cushions look really really cute so oh do you know what even if you are a sewer these would be perfect 
If you tied a little bit of elastic on these, around the bottom, and you could put them on your hand like that, or on your wrist, and it could be, you know what's coming, sewers, as you know. Pincushion, for while you're sewing. So, we've done that, I think a few people done that with the pumpkins, after the pumpkin tutorial. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like it. And if you press the notification bell, then you'll be notified whenever I upload any of my videos. So have a lovely rest of your day. A lovely rest of your week. Take care. See you on Friday if you're sticking around for the try and haul. And a proper Valentine's video will be on Monday. So I really hope that you just appreciate that I'm, you know, I'm not the perfect YouTuber. I wouldn't even say I'm a YouTuber. I'm just like some random girl. I thought, do you know what? I'm going to film something today. So, this is what you would get with me, and I do apologise for that. But hopefully you have a rest, lovely rest of your day. I can't say that enough. <laughs> and I've got to go get the kids now from school. So take care. I've been Rosie Henshaw. Bye.